Hello. Welcome back to Pathologic. We've got fighting to do. I'm gonna wait for this guy to sort himself out so we can fight him like normal style. There we go. Beautiful. So, interesting... F okay, brilliant start. Interesting fact about this, this video that you're witnessing right now is I'm actually recording it yesterday. Today is Sunday for me, which I'm sure makes absolutely zero impact whatsoever. <laughs> Has absolutely zero impact whatsoever on what's going on for most people. Um, but, like, I... I, uh, I'm not going to have a lot of time for doing recordings tomorrow. I'm going to be a busy boy. Um, but I'm a very not busy boy today, so I'm doing it now, which is pretty cool, I think. Because that means, like, I, like, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, right? I haven't got a clue. Anything could happen. Anything could go wrong, right? Like, for all I know, you could be watching this video from your fucking Fallout bunker. The, the world could have ended between me recording and you and you seeing this video from this video going up on YouTube, right? And as long as the YouTube servers are still like unaffected, right? N n n then nothing changes. Stop. <laughs> and I, I think that's just crazy. It's such a normal thing, <laughs> but my perspective of the world and the potential perspective, the Schrodinger's perspective of the world that is that is happening tomorrow. It could be very, very different. <laughs> and this is the sort of shit I uh, I decide to meander on about when I have absolutely nothing else to talk about because all I'm doing is walking around punching brigands for an eve. <laughs> Spending an evening just doing a little bit of slap fighting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's, uh, as I say, I do like this game a lot. But sometimes you sure do not have much to do in it. Sometimes you sure are just... Just existing. Which, yeah, as I say, it can be a challenge in and of itself. Don't get me wrong. There is gameplay to be experienced in and of that... Um, singular facet of it. It is a survival game to its core. So survival is sometimes a challenge. But... As of right now, I'm... Uh, I'm just hanging out. I'm just hanging out. I, I don't have... There's not much going on, you know? There's no high priority issues to deal with. I'm just here, doing my thing. Yeah, I really shouldn't be complaining about that, because this game can be pretty brutally difficult when there is a lot going on. I should be walking along, smelling the roses, enjoying my time. Unaccosted, so to speak. But... Yeah, no. You know. You know, don't you? Oh, that's that letter. Yeah, we read that last time. Cool. I see a knifey boy. Hello there, knifey boy. I'm just going to save really quickly. We'll have another knifey boy experiment. Little uh, tete a tete with Monsieur McKnife. Oh, fucking hell. Mm. Didn't quite get me there, pal. Didn't quite. You tried. I appreciate it. Ah, fuck. I've lost too much health just like willy nil. Last time I was so gung ho. I was I was so brave in the face of bullshit last time. Just taking knife slashes to the face and stuff. And I, I can't afford to keep doing that. I need to play a little bit more cautiously than that, I think. Just, just, an, just an ounce more cautiously. Just a, just a fraction. Mm. Come on, up you get. Up you get. Why are you throwing your knife? Oh. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, that works for me, honestly. Too many people around here. One of these is going to accidentally get hit, for sure. Especially with the weird hitboxes on the backstab attack. I mean, look at that. How? How, how do you hit with it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> After all that. After all that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Okay. This time. This time it's going to go brilliantly, I promise. No more, no more screw-ups.
It's, it really is just so much easier if they just face you and fight you. If they're fighting someone else, it's genuinely more difficult, and that's it's so dumb that that's the case. I don't think that is the case so much on the other characters, when you can use a knife or whatever. It's easier coming at him from the side like that, so I don't trigger the backstab, because the backstab just has the world's smallest hitbox, and I'm not even convinced it does more damage, to be honest. Oh, fucking hell. I'm just getting greedy now, I just want this fight to be over and done with. Playing like, um, me when I play Dark Souls. <laughs> Mash R1! <laughs> Victory will be mine! Hmm. So. Oh, that didn't hit! That didn't hit! Right, can we go this time? Can we actually fight now, please? Ah. How? How? This is going to be the whole video, I hope you're aware. I'm not, I'm not cutting out a single second of this exhilarating gameplay, because if I've got to suffer through it, then you've got to suffer through it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is how it goes. <laughs> you know what you're signing up for. If you, if, you, if you don't know what sort of shit I will subject viewers to at this point, <laughs> then uh, you're about... 60 episodes of Pathologic behind, honestly. I've well established that I, I'm not one to make things easy for anyone, least of all myself. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. I'll tell you what I've been up to recently. I've been, uh, I've been practicing my Robo Pit speedruns for, uh, for the uninitiated. I do technically, in a technical sense, hold the world record for speedrunning this Sega Saturn classic, absolute classic, Robo Pit. Um, if you don't know anything about that game, then um, I'm sorry, you're missing out on, a, on quite possibly the best bit of uh, video gaming excellence ever created by man. Um, but yeah, I've been practicing my speedruns. Um, I beat my own world record off, completely off camera, didn't record it. Um, by a substantial amount, 32 minutes I got, by my own count. Um, so I think I'm going to try and actually like record a, a decent one at some point fairly soon. going to try and actually like put down a world record oh. that would actually be challenging to beat, because the thing is there's no competition for it, nobody cares about the Robo Pit world record. But I want to put one down that's like, it doesn't, it's not going to be amazing, because I'm not like a particularly you know, top tier gamer, as you can see by what's going on right now. But, um, I think I can, you know, I've got enough experience with that game that I can make a decent one that would be somewhat challenging for people to beat. Hard enough that, like, if someone actually wants it, they're going to have to work for it, you know? It's not just something someone can just be like, oh, that's an easy world record I can take and just walk in and one-shot it, you know? I, I want to lay down a decent world record. 20, 20, I'm aiming for 25 minutes. Um, which I think is possible. I think it's very possible. So that's that's my goal. Um, so if that randomly appears on the channel at some point, don't be surprised. Don't be shocked and horrified at the the sudden tonal shift. I'm not a speed running channel, and I never will be. But I want to uh, I want to fortify that world record to a pretty decent degree. Because I say my current world record. I mean, I don't even know if someone might have beaten it. I never even submitted it to speedruns because it it was dog shit. But technically, my current world record for the Sega Saturn version of Robo Pit is like 56 minutes and something seconds, which is it's not good. <laughs> it's so easy to beat, <laughs> pathetically easy to beat. So I'm uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna beat that. I'm gonna beat that officially. It's gonna be really cool, and you're all gonna be like, wow, Joe, he's a really cool guy. He has a world record in a game that nobody cares about and is, nobody is competing for. But he does. He has one. It's going to happen. I do need a capture card because, um, again, technically I don't even know if my world record that I have is legal because I was playing it off the disc but um, through an emulator. So I don't know if that was... That was technically allowed. I don't know what the rules are regarding emulators in world records. Um, I have seen a few summoning salt videos, um, so um, I, I don't think in most cases emulators are allowed, but I think it does vary from game to game, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but yeah, I need to get a capture card. 
just I mean, there's a bunch of games I would like to be able to um, just generally, you know, LP or whatever um, from from the old retro consoles that I own and would love to play without having to emulate, you know, play officially on the channel. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking into getting a capture card. It might take me a while to find a decent one that works for everything I need it to work for, but that's 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 the thing on the horizon. Um, I did mention in the video I recorded earlier today as well, um, which will have gone up yesterday for you mortals, for you mere mortals. Fuck you, dude. I just saved, I suppose. Um, there's something else I want to do on the channel as well. Um, I don't know why I'm being so cryptic about it particularly, but I guess I've committed to being cryptic. But there is another series I do want to start at some point. Obviously, Pathologic is going to run for a while because I'm still on day two and it's then the gameplay is looking like this at the moment. Um, but once Nostal Guy is over, I think I've got something... I would say a little bit different. Just a little bit different that I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be doing not drastically different uh, it is something I've I've dipped my toe into before so annoying that I just killed that guy and then immediately loaded but he, he did hit me there's something I've dipped my toe into before but I want to um I want to swing at it again so yeah there might be some slightly different different things appearing around here at some point in the not too distant future I also just like quite like making like um, just the occasional. There we go. That's much better. The occasional uh, words are failing me right now. Honestly, non LP video. Just just a video where I just like talk on things. <laughs> I just you know have a subject matter and just discuss it for a bit. I think those are quite fun. Um, they do require a little bit more editing, i.e. some editing, so uh, I've got a few of those are kicking around in my head that I want to get around to as well, but the day I have uh, Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theatre. Yeah, I'm going to probably finish up uh, the Last Hero of Nostalgia before I move on to, to doing anything else anyway, so depending on how long that game takes me... Um, or this might be a little bit of ways yet. And then obviously, you know, we're not too far. We're not too distant from the end of year stuff where I usually do my end of year videos, other bits and pieces at times. So, uh, yeah, look out for a gentle change of pace around here, I suppose. I'm not committing to anything because, honestly, I do quite like the format I've got going here, you know. Um, as I say, if I was gaming the algorithm, I could probably uh, get myself a hell of a lot more views and everything if I if I really cared. But I do just quite like the sort of <laughs> confessional blog style or vlog style, I guess, that I, I have going here where I just I play a game and I chat shit, you know. I enjoy that for me, so like, fuck what anyone else wants, you know what I mean? It's what this channel's always been about at the end of the day, so. Ho oh, hum. I can't believe I've got so bad at fighting these guys though. Are, are you witnessing what has been going on throughout the last sort of fucking hell, 14 minutes already? This video has gone nowhere, but um, yeah, Jesus Christ, I've not been doing well at these fights at all. Which I thought I'd sort of, I got a handle on them to be honest. I mean, the the slap is, look look how long range the slap is. Like, I shouldn't lose these. I can literally just run backwards and spam left click and it should be a win. Theoretically. My slap is longer range than his knife. As long as I keep out of that keep him dead zoned. There should be absolutely nothing he can do to me. Alas, it is not always the case though. Alas, I do make mistakes. I am less than perfect. Only just. Only marginally less than perfect, but, you know, it runs close. Blech. Heading to the theatre right now. I want to see the end of day extravaganza. 
Um, I am going to have to do something about my health. I don't think my my exhaustion is creeping up. I might sleep and take a bunch of medicine to bump my health back up. But with my infection being as high as it is, this is becoming risky. Becoming a risky endeavour to do any of that. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to deal with that fairly soon as well. I just really don't know how I'm going to deal with my infection right now because I do not have... I believe I don't even have access to anything that can that can fix infection. Never mind not owning any, but I don't think I have... You know, the only thing I've got on me that can cure infection is the Schmalder, and I'm sure it's fuck not going to waste those on myself. So I, I'm going to have to hope that day three is bringing some new medical supplies to the town because otherwise D3 is going to be pretty a pretty rough endeavor <laughs> didn't think he'd hit me I'm going to be honest I didn't think that was going to that was going to hit me at all I thought I was in the clear there <laughs> little did I know little did I know in in general <laughs> Not even in relation to this game, just in general. I know quite little. I do really like the bachelor's platform shoes he wears, by the way. The man knows how to make himself into a figure of authority, and that's by adding an extra four inches to his height. I'm not sure he actually wears them in game, but in that concept art, those are some, those are some chunky Spice Girls shoes, those are. Stop coughing. Stop coughing. Stop wheezing. Stop Galarian wheezing at me. The rulers had to accept something was wrong. The terrifying discoveries have convinced them. One of them managed to curb the family feud. Bad news. The governor will abuse his power. And the rest won't let him get away with this. Nothing's changed. The town was placed in quarantine. From now on, the infected districts will be locked down, and no one will be able to leave until the situation is resolved. Well, it won't be. They won't figure it out. Sand pit. Or just in the litter box, just <laughs> just doing what you do in a litter box, you know. Just all having a little squat. <laughs> all right, okay. I think I, I think the actual FMVs um, are recycled from campaign to campaign. I think they're always the same. I might be completely wrong on that. Like even though this is my third time seeing them, I honestly couldn't tell you if I've seen them before or not. Not for certainty. Um, but what we did get from that is it sounds like a, a district is infected, which I imagine is the... Honestly? Oh, I just know. I just know which areas are infected. That's fucking useful. Bonus to being uh, Clara right there. Yeah, this, I think, is the area that we were told to watch out for in that note, right? I'm going to visit the Skinners today. I think that is the Skinners. Hey, Thank fuck. I mean, they're expensive as hell. But the fact that he's got some... The fact that he's got some means, hopefully, that the children will have some too. Hopefully. Not that the children will be out again till the morning and it's still barely past midnight so I'm gonna probably need to in all honesty bandage a couple of times to keep my health sensible or else I will just die of infection uh, do I just buy the infection pills for 880 that's quite expensive that's quite a lot of money honestly can I trade with you before this guy throws a knife at you real quick yeah beautiful thanks mate <laughs> Uh, watch out. <laughs> God, that was almost like frame perfect. He died very quickly. I suppose he did get hit by the throwing knife, and the throwing knife does more damage than the melee attack, so... Fuck. 
I didn't save before this combat, did I? Oh my god, Joe. Oh my, oh my god, Joe. 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 Have you learned nothing? Have you learned nothing from your time with this video game? Have you not learned a tiny, teensy tiny thing about the fact that you should save uh, constantly, just all the time, just time and time and time again. Every time you successfully breathe without falling unconscious, you should pr probably, probably save the game. Fucking hell, we're back here again. This guy. This dude here. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I'm so frustrated with myself, man. I'm so frustrated with myself. I'm sorry. I am sorry to you, humble viewer, that you are a... <laughs> you were forced to watch this perpetual endless cycle. This snake eating itself in, into eternity. <laughs> like... <laughs> I swear, we will, we will get through into the morning at some point, eventually. It will happen. The end... The end is real. It may not necessarily be in sight. The light may not be at the end of the tunnel as yet, but that's just because there's a bit of a it's a bit of a bit of a corner, you know. It's a, it's a, a gentle turn to this tunnel, and the light is up there. You just gotta you just gotta keep going, you know. Just gotta push on through. <laughs> okay, right. Now I can't just run up to him because he still throw, he still throws the knife. You can't just run up to him and try and trick him into meleeing because he, he he still just throws the knife and if you run up to him he just kills you this is something that i learned um about a year ago about this game <laughs> but i'm refusing to actually utilize the knowledge i've gained to gain an, any sort of advantage while playing the video game because where's the fun in that eh? that worked that worked Line of sight at him. I don't know if watching the um Oh that's really good timing. I don't know if watching the town hall meetings means anything. I don't know if it affects anything. So I kind of wanna I kind of wanna rewatch it, even though I know I can't skip it, so I'm I'm real sorry about that as well. I'm real sorry that we're gonna have to view this again. There's not really much we can do about it. There's, there's no skip. There's no skip button. I can just talk over it though. I can, I can just do that. Uh, what's going on? Let's see what, what Twitter has to say. What does Twitter have to say? What's happening in the world right now? You know, yesterday for you, once again. Um, nothing too dramatic by the looks of it. There's a picture of a cat with fairy wings. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of weird, like, cat and dog, like, classic internet funnies showing up on Twitter lately. I think this is just Elon being Elon, I think. I think he's just, he's just doing his thing. He's trying to distract me from all the, all the bad news. Trying to make me, trying to keep me from switching off Twitter by just showing me lots of cute pictures of cats and dogs. Which, honestly, I welcome. You know, keep it up, Elon. Keep it up. These are some pretty cute cats and dogs. Like, literally half my feed is just cats and dogs, and I don't know why. I've not done anything to encourage that. It's just started happening recently. <laughs> the algorithm has definitely changed in some way. I'm saving, I think. Saving seems like a smart move right now. Moving on. Uh, what were we doing? Was there a reason I was going in this direction? I don't think there really was. I think I was just wandering. I'm assuming we're not going to have the same setup of people as last time. I'm not going to find a drunk and a knife man and get a bent bandage and take a bandage. We did find a drunk at least though, so. Alas though, he is suboptimal. I can't think of a worse insult, frankly. Are you after me or... No, you're after the, the nice lady. I'd love to save her from you, but I literally can't. Oh, maybe I can. Why did that hit? What the fuck is with the hitboxes on this? I can be inside the guy and not hit him with it. And then I'm like eight feet away and karate chopping the air and he's, he's collapsing. 
Whatever, I'm not going to complain that I had a, a semi-easy victory there, but still a bit weird. There's another one up there. I see him emerging from the mist like Jack the fucking Ripper. Pretty suitable analogy, I think, considering one was literally just trying to murder a woman in the in, in the night, you know? I think everyone just tries to murder women in the night in this game though, right? That's just a thing. Like, random dudes will just go after women. Or at least they do on the early days when they think there's a shabnak afoot or whatever. Because shabnaks have to be... have to be women. I think that's how it works. I think that's the official law. Disappointed. I think I will buy some infection tablets. I know I can get them a lot easier and a lot cheaper by trading with kids, but I, I need to sort of deal with my infection. There's not really any way around that. I've really got anything worth selling. Maybe... I don't think I'm going to need the bandage set, and it's worth a fair bit, so... It will offset the, uh, the cost of all this. It's just a little bit for me. Right, we save. And then... We try... Yeah, I thought so. I thought as much. That's why we saved. It was just an experiment, alright? It was just an experiment. just wanted to see exactly... I'm trying to get a feel for exactly how much damage these tablets do to you. I think it's only a little bit more than the health I had remaining there. I think it was a pretty close call, I think. But I, I don't actually know. I'm not an authority on these things. So we bandage... Okay. And again. Okay. That's also put my exhaustion sky high, though. Um, I think I'll start heading... I'll just save over that last slot. I'll start heading towards somewhere I can sleep. I guess probably back to the Sabarovs would make sense, because they're probably going to have missions for me in the morning. Um, so I head that way. Maybe kill a couple more knife men on the way sleep take some uh, take some meridorm or something to, to pump my health up overnight it's gonna be great it's gonna be grand isn't it great isn't it cool I'm here wandering round the streets to slap some fools. Where are the fools? Have you got a bandage for me, pal? No, okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nothing I like better than a disappointing drunk. Just because it makes me feel better about myself, you know. Like, if, if that drunkard had provided a bandage, then he would technically be providing more use to his local community than I do as a p human person in real life. So, um, I don't want to be less than him, <laughs> personally. <laughs> so, for the sake of my own ego, it's pretty cool when other people are uh, just massive failures. You know, just a little bit of schadenfreude in there. It's beautiful, beautiful thing. There really is just nothing going on, is there? These streets are just... a bit shit. Not a single knifey boy to be seen. That's not a knifey boy, it's a man taking a shit. How's that helpful? How are you helpful? You're not. <laughs> How do these people justify their existence, honestly? There we go. Something I can put to good use at last. Come on, throw that knife at me then. I'm just going to be running around here. Oh. Not fast enough. <laughs> not fast enough, clearly. Those knives, man. They're not... Uh... There's no sort of 
hard and fast way to avoid them outside of just getting out of line of sight when they start readying a knife, which is usually quite easy because obviously it's quite a, a dense town. There's lots of obstacles, lots of buildings, there's lots of things you can get behind. I'm not saying that generally speaking, it's not easy enough to avoid them, but it's it's wild that you can't just like strafe away from them or, or anything. There's no like hard and fast answer to just not get one shot by those. <laughs> That was greedy. Yeah, you almost got me there. Almost got filleted. Is that what these guys are? Are they just are they just fishmongers? Mm. <laughs> They're getting a bad reputation on the streets, but honestly, they haven't done any anything to anyone. They're just, they're just out here to uh, provide a service to the town, slicing up much needed fish. I mean, all these fish do keep appearing in shops, and as far as I know, I've not seen anyone uh, anyone out there providing. So, uh, got to come from somewhere. It's from the pockets of these men. They're just on their way to deliver their stocks of filleted fish to the to the food shops, and here I am slapping them about with my little powerful girly magic powers. Disappointing, honestly. I'm. I'm disappointed in myself. Ooh, there it is. The plague begins. I got quite used to this town not being, you know, completely impassable sometimes, but I guess we just gotta live with that now. To bed, I think. To bed. What can we take? A couple of Meridorm. A couple of Meridorm should do it. And sleep for five hours, because I believe that is enough, even from full exhaustion. You never need to actually sleep six hours. Yeah. <coughs> Health looks good. Hunger is getting up there, so we'll just... Do some munchies. A bit of milk, maybe. There we go. Feeling good. Uh, immunity could use a pop. A pop? Yeah, a pop. We'll pop the immunity. <laughs> Infection's not too bad. Yeah, okay, good. Good. All around good times. And five minutes till the morning. I did say we'll get to the morning. I did say it was coming. I promised you that. And uh, it looks like it's actually going to come true. Might have time to just get in one more knife fight real quick if we're real lucky. I believe even though the sky is quite light, it is still classed as night time, so there should still be some unsavoury types prowling the streets. There we go. Thus it ends. Alright, let's go back and see our, our noble caretakers. Day 3, in which the changeling endeavours to hunt her impudent sister down and uncover habitual villain sins. The sister is the plague, right? The sister is less actually her, but more like a metaphysical representation of what she represents, yes. i.e. the plague. Is your faith firm, my dear daughter? Have you faced any temptations on your path that made you doubt the truth that I profess? That I have nothing with which to convince you but the love bruning inside of me ever stronger. I think that's a typo. I'm afraid of the disease. It's here already, standing by our windows. Do you remember everything I've told you about those bound of yours who were infected with a utopian heresy, and about some of them, or perhaps many of them, being instrumental in bringing the wrath of heaven upon our town? It must be so, Mother. There is a mansion in the stone yard called the Stillwater. Living there is a girl named Ava Yan. Both good and bad things are said about her. She is said to be affectionate and depraved, a kind soul who is also voluptuous. But I'm not talking about that. Lust is not the kind of sin to incur such a punishment. So why are you talking about her then? Ava has been led astray by utopian ideas. What has particularly captured my attention is that Ava, the gentle Ava Yan, is spending an extraordinary amount of time at the town's cathedral. There is no knowing as to what is drawing her there, but her way of life is incongruous with such a piety. It's mysterious. I'll try to solve it, mother. 
Ava is gentle and weak. Begin with her. She is unlikely to be rude with you. Try to use your powers on her first, for from then on, you will commune with some dangerous and difficult collocutors. That's... I'm not convinced that one's a... Hang on, I'm going to have to Google this one. You've said some crazy words so far, but I don't believe collocutors is a real word. What the fuck does that mean? A person who collects things of a specified type, professionally or a hobby. What? <laughs> so collectors, then. is is Surely collectors is the word there. <laughs> what the fuck is the English language, man? They may overwhelm you with their rage, rendering you unable to sway them. Uh, I'll try, mother. No promises, but I'll try. I wonder if it's, um, if it's Clara who convinces Ava to, you know, kill herself. <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to uh, accidentally cause, uh, cause a little bit of a drama over that side of the town. We'll see, I suppose. What does Daddy Dearest have to say? Don't let anyone scare you. No one will dare touch you while I'm of influence. Okay. Uh, quite a few people have tried to come at me with knives, to be honest, Alexander, but if you say no one will dare touch me, then who am I to argue? You have walked around and observed much. Tell me, Clara, how does this disease spread? Through breath, through touch, or perhaps through blood-sucking insects? Those have grown in number of late. It definitely is contagious, so I, d I don't know, Father. How could I know? I'm no scientist. Closer. Come closer, my daughter. Tell me, advise me, what measures must be taken to stop the epidemic? Where can we send our brave patrolman and the executor suicide squad? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, the word executor suicide squad clearly caught me so off guard at that point that it uh, made my lungs revolt in revolution. Good sentence. <laughs> um, hmm. All of these measures mean nothing. Send some of them to the, c the cathedral and some to the cemetery, shovels in hand. That would be my advice. There's nothing wrong with your saying this. I'm thinking aloud and I would like to know whether the harbinger agrees me with me. But there is someone else speaking through your lips, is there not? Yes, there is. It's me. It's Joe. It's this guy here. Five years ago, the sand plague broke out in the poor districts where, due to our negligence, the social and sanitary conditions have become truly appalling. If, like the plague, it is spread by blood-sucking fleas and their host animals, perhaps a culling of bulls and other domestic animals would be the solution. Yeah, let's talk him out of culling the bulls, because that was definitely an issue for both of the other characters, from what I remember. Why call bulls? Bulls don't get fleas, they aren't a threat. I will tell you what I'm going to do. Don't say a word to anyone about the plague, I refuse to allow a panic, and I will ban all expressions of mourning. Whoa, Jesus, calm down. Let them celebrate instead. To the bachelor I have recommended that he reassure sick people, saying they have been afflicted with a general condition. There's already talk of the sun plague at every street corner, aren't these measures coming a bit late? Let no one talk of the sun plague for as long as possible. Now if anyone attempts to escape and is heard saying that the disease is incurable and a pair of boots is the best medicine, what? That person must be taken into custody. Is that something you would endorse? You're looking for the cause in the wrong place. That is my job to do, do not worry about that. To be the ruler during a plague is a cursed part to play and a grievous burden, a man doomed to nothing but error. Yes, all of those measures are just a way to comfort ourselves. My only hope is you. I hope you have not allowed despair to take you over yet. Do I need to restate my request? Whatever happens, I'm only fulfilling my purpose. You shall visit a singer named Anna Angel. That's convenient, she's right nearby. Of all the black souls in our town, this is the blackest. The Willows used to be the happiest house in this side of town, and we were happy with such neighbours. Now every crack in the walls of that house is oozing blood and tears. I had the same impression. I suspect that one of the bloodthirstiest ghouls that walk this earth has infiltrated our town in the shape of this singer. Have you... have you heard about the caravan? Of course you haven't. <laughs> That's... <laughs> that has the same vibes as, uh... Do you get to the Cloud District often? No, of course you don't. <laughs> uh, 
Ask her about it and see what she has to say. Alright. Ah, you frighten me so much. Yeah, we'll go speak with Anna. She's not a great person, honestly. Based on my previous experience of her. Both of the men, you know, kind of looked after her because she was a damsel in distress and she played up to that very well, but uh, hopefully Clara will see through that a little bit because from what I understand, like the caravan, it's a bit of a... It's not like a major element in the game, but she was part of the caravan before and they like abduct kids and shit like that they're not good people at all and then she like left the caravan was taken in by the willows residents and then just like presumably killed them and took the house for herself like she's she's not a good person even by pathologic standards where everyone is shades of gray she's one of the darker shades of gray going from what i understand but maybe we'll be proven wrong maybe we'll find out a little bit more about our dear anna during this specific day of questing. Not likely though. I think she's just going to turn out to be, you know, a bit of a cunt. <laughs> Hello. I used to sing every evening. Ah, uh, you're so pale. Would you like to use my rouge? You look like you're about to tell me something. You have such a mischievous sparkle in your eyes. I'm going to whisper something in your ear. Lean over so you could hear. Oh, I love secrets of every kind. Simon is alive. Fully alive, do you understand? Ava's told me secretly. How can she know? The bachelor and Ava complete... The bachelor has Ava completely under his thumb. She's like a slave to him now, and she knows his secrets. But guess what? He's colluded with Stark Rubin, an apprentice of Isidore's, a surgeon, and a former mercenary. Together, they're now hiding Simon from the canes, making it look like he's dead. I wonder if Simon himself is part of that plot. Yes, I think so. There must be a reason the three of them are doing this, and their goals are probably evil. What else could they be? Why are you telling me this? You need to check if Ava's telling the truth. Do check, and afterwards inform the Canes that Newcomb... What? Inform the Canes about that Newcomb bachelor. Well, I'm just going to have to improve my lexicon here. I'm going to have to learn a lot more words to get through this game. What the fuck does Newcomb mean? Newcomb. It's a town. <laughs> oh, is it new cut? Like, yeah, he, he, he's come. New, he's, he's new around here. I assume that's what it means. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Newcomb bachelor. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Do you, do you understand how this will change your life? They'll stop persecuting you. You'll gain the favours and earn a lot of money. Or perhaps you don't care about money at all. I do. Everyone needs money. Yeah... We're not done yet, though. I've come to talk to you on behalf of my protector and father. He wants to know more about you than he does now. Oh, so now I'm on Sabarov's list of undesirables, too. Truly, I'm being targeted by all of the powers that be. I could never expect that from Sabarov, a firmly principled man and an old neighbour of mine. And in the meantime, the Olgimskis have been utterly terrorising me. I was even going to plead for his protection. And what's the Olgimskis' problem with you? Oh, I do know what it's about. There's this local usurer... I'll tell you later how I'm involved here. So tough Vlad decided to pocket his blood money. Vlad himself had to pay up quite heftily. He transferred the funds to your new father yesterday. But what does that have to do with you? We'll come to that, my dear. The hunchback refused to give Vlad the money, so Vlad said he'd find a way to bring him to heel, pressure someone who could reveal all the skeletons in the hunchback's closet. That was a direct hint at me. Vlad had found out about my involvement with the Hunchback. But it's hardly something that Alexander wanted to find out. Please, my dear, save me from these infernal old Gimpskis. Vlad is terribly, unbelievably cruel. He can't control his anger. He can smash an oak table into splinters and he can condemn hundreds of people to torture just to quench his own fury. Help me and I'll be completely open with you. Find out if Big Vlad is scheming against me. Would he really threaten you? Yes, he thinks I'm easy to handle because of how I acted yesterday. And today, there was this threatening message, saying I'll soon die the same death as others who... Well, no need to go into the vapid lies of that follow. <laughs> Signed, Look Back. Do you have any idea how scary that is? What kind of strange signature is that? It's a hint that there'll always be danger lurking behind my back. I mean, what else could it be? 
So how can I help you there? Well, think of something. You'll surely manage. I sense an angelic power in you. I, of course, would have used his children to get to him, but they're already grown up and I wouldn't be able to handle them at this point. But you will. Used his children? That sounded sinister. Oh, and don't believe everything they might tell you about my past. It's all lies. I came here as a refugee fleeing political persecution for singing subversive songs. I'll see you later, Anna. I'll come back with news. Oh, we've got two reasons to speak to Ava. One to speak to Vlad and family. Lots going on at the moment. Yeah, it looks like we need to speak to the, the younger the younger Olgimpskis before the elder. So we'll swing by Capella's first. Down to Vlad the younger, up to Ava, and then hit big Vlad on the way back. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. Probably. I mean, it's a way. It's good as any, right? Honestly, it's day three. That was the worst that could happen. <laughs> if you ever wanted to... <laughs> if you ever wanted to tempt fate, then that's exactly how you do it. But you know what I mean. Like, it's still early in the game. The only reason I've been struggling is because I've been hanging out in infected houses and specifically hunting down men with knives all night. Like, I'm kind of bringing it on myself at the moment. Beyond that, the, the game hasn't particularly thrown anything that difficult at me so far, so... We'll see. Hopefully it'll be fairly smooth sailing for day three at least. Especially if we can stay out of the infected quarter. Do you know anything about the disease? Hello, girl with eyes that look like they're eager to take in an entire world. Who are you? Have we not met? I guess we haven't. An owner and pair uh, an owner of a pair of healing hands. You can call me Clara. Why do I feel like we have something in common? Something important that's hard to miss. As if we're siblings, but what is it? I already have a sister and it's not you. It's hard for us to believe in things that lie outside of our scope. It's true. It's true. Oh, all the pain, all the pity, all the abysmal depth in your eyes. Speak fast, please. I do not know why, but being close to you feels oppressive. Don't be angry with me. I'm not angry with you. I think I know what this is about. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Guests are always welcome here. I'd like to do something good for you so that we could become friends. Really? Do you really want to do something nice for me? I don't even know what to say. You know, sometimes I feel like there is no one better and kinder than you in the whole world, even though we literally only met like 20 seconds ago, and that whatever you might do would be good, even for me. But sometimes you feel differently, don't you? Yes, yes, sometimes I feel as though you and I are enemies. And you are a very dangerous enemy, seeing as you're not human. Ah, what am I saying? Got a headache, sorry, it's all this terrible air. I'd like to do something for you regardless. You know, I've been told the ba I told the bachelor to go to the Skinners, which is the disease hotbed. A little boy named Loafer was going to test a toxic powder there, but I still haven't heard from the bachelor. Perhaps he didn't find the boy. What patcher? Uh, what powder? Not what bachelor. <laughs> what powder? That doesn't matter. A terrible poison, but the children believe it can purge you of the sand pest. It's a schmowder. Will you find him? I'll find anyone carrying a schmowder, man. The bachelor would be better. He is, after all, the more responsible one. Ask him if he's tracked down the boy and managed to take that horrible mixture away from him. All right. I'll ask him when I meet him. I think if we do that, we'll get some answers out of Capella. I'm not going to ask her about what. Her father wants for Man or Angel just yet. This is a lot of favours for favours for favours in a big old chain of stuff that results in me doing a lot of things for people and in order to help other people. Like, I don't feel like I'm really gaining anything for myself from doing all this, but, you know, maybe, maybe Alexander will reward me once I reach the end of this horrible, dense chain of fetch quests. Who knows? go see what Vlad the Younger wants, I'm sure he wants something too, so just on the off chance that he also sends me into the into the um, Skinners, probably worth uh, speaking to him first. The last thing we want to do is go into the infected area twice in one day if we can avoid it, rather just get all that dealt with ASAP. Yo, come back, come back.
Come back. Come back. Fuck. You have to admire my optimism though, right? <laughs> my stark belief that every single one of them will give me a bandage. If you believe it hard enough, it will become true. Power of self-actualization, that is. Vlad. Vladdy baby. Let's have a chat. It will all work out when a regular train comes. What do you want, girl? To peer into my deep well? Tell me, Vlad Oglimsky, do you know Anna Angel well? Well enough, by our small town standards. Tell me who she is, then. A fugitive actress from the Aces of Diamonds, she took up residence at the Willows and proceeded to remove the owners of that charming house from this world. A celebrity indeed. Though actually, I've never sought intimacy with her. In fact, I only remembered about her yesterday in connection with the medicine commandeering business. Why? Ah, so that's why. Now I see clearly what's scaring her so much. She's afraid of the smallest noise now and no surprise. A life of fear is the price she's paying for the horror she once helped unleash. You do know about the caravan, don't you? Ah, so Anna was with the caravan. Judging by what's been coming to light recently, yes, she was with the caravan, and her role there was among the most loathsome, an enticing bait for the trusty children whose trolls were intending to kidnap. Hmm. That's horrible, and what did they kidnap the children for? To replenish their troop. They were collectors. Not collocktators, or whatever the fuck that word was. <laughs> Do you realise how the Canes must have hated them? The caravan turned up at the exact time our children had settled at the Polyhedron and the Canes saw that they had given the little ones of the town a magical childhood. The caravan stood at the opposite pole, as it were. A challenge, a mockery, a reminder for Nina and Simon. And the Canes know about Anna's connection to the caravan? Well, it hasn't been proved yet, but the day they find out will be the day, last day of her life, and I have no doubt about that. The caravan is a bogeyman that the Canes hate with a passion. A punishment by the government would be a walk in the park compared to the scourges that the Canes intend to call down upon them. Could it be that the Canes have found out about Anna and are threatening her now? If this is so, then it can only be one particular Cain, the weakest and temporarily paralysed one. The others wouldn't stoop to threats. They'd act right away. Who is it then? Casper, also known as Khan. Victor and Nina's son, the black-eyed Maria's little brother. My sister will tell you about him. They were friends for a while. At one point, our parents even considered arranging their marriage, despite the age difference, but they were too incompatible. Thank you for your advice. I'll talk to your sister. Interesting. Looks like we really need to do some shit for... Uh for our good friend Capella now. And it looks like we're going to be heading over here to speak to Casper at some point. So I guess we go to the Skinners next, probably. Why do I have... What? No one has mentioned Yulia today. Or am I, am I tripping? I'm sure nobody has mentioned Yulia today, but apparently I can go pick up hooks for Ava's heart from Yulia? Apparently? Whatever, man. Um, I've been going too long anyway, so we will wrap up here. Next time we will head to the Skinners and get infected all over again after just dealing with that only, you know, a few short minutes ago. But them's the breaks, I suppose. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.